Yo, what's up guys, I'm back, going to be for you. This time we have this 92 rated Prime Raul card. Now, I've been wanting to use this card for quite a while, I've had him on my bucket list, and surprisingly enough, I actually got him out of that, like, I think it was mid Prime or Moments pack, and I was just like, you know what, why not, we'll use him. So on start sensor, he's 5 foot 11, got that left footed with the 4 star skills, 4 star weak foot. Now, all the games I played with him, I played 15 matches, got 15 goals and 9 assists, which is actually quite a good record, because he had a lot of strikes to bounce between. Now, on alternative, you can only play the striker and centre forward, which is a little bit unfortunate in my opinion, because I would want a little bit more variety, but with that being said, it's not too bad. So on stats, we've got the 88 pace, 92 shooting, 82 passing, the 90 dribbling, and the 75 physicals. So on paper, it looks like quite a nice striker. I decided to pair him up with that Adiemi card, and later in the video, I'm pretty sure he had Walker alongside him, so a very fast lineup with him. He can also play, you know, he also has the finesse shot trait, sorry, and also the solid player trait, which is also two nice traits that go along with this card. Just overall, a real nice card. But if you do enjoy the clips or want to see more, please do subscribe. It generally does help the channel out a lot, and I'll see you after positive and negatives. Peace. Run free. Dive into the sky Hear the wind Crying out its prayer While we are so Ashamed to be alive Break the chains And our freedom's all set behind your back Chase the light when the world is getting darker I have a dream where love's the only side So take my hand Join the army of the shadows So, on to my overall thoughts about this card then. Now, first for me, kicking it off is the 4 star skills, 4 star weak foot. Now, overall for this, it's consistent. The weak foot's consistent, the strong foot's consistent. 4 star skills, what really more can you say? He can do the basic skills, which is quite nice. He would have won 5 star skills, but unfortunately, the Prince of Goals wasn't really like that. So, next up for me is the pace. Now, overall for this, I do recommend you put another engine chem style on it, because he does need that extra little bit of pace, like a little bit of dribbling and also passing. But overall, the pace wasn't bad to be fair. He will get past a few of the defenders. Obviously, he might struggle with some of the fullbacks and stuff like that. But overall, the pace is decent. And shooting for me, 
is world class. That finishing and attack position is amazing overall. The shot power, again, isn't bad. You have a lot of strong shots on that left foot, and it was very, very deadly. Now, passing me over to the ones that matter, actually really, this is really weird about this card, and this is why he has so many assists for me. He has a really high vision, and he also has a really high short pass, but he has really low long pass, which is, I just find so bizarre overall. It just allows him to, like, use a little one-twos throw like that, just bounce between them, just don't do some long balls to, like, the wires throw like that. Now, the junior removal, quite consistent. He's not the smallest of the cards, but he's also not the tallest of the cards. So, it won't be like swift, like messy, or like that. But it still will be quite agile. And with the 88 agility and the 88 dueling with the engine camp style, does go quite nicely together. Now, the balance me goes along with the strength quite nicely, and also the reactions is actually quite nice. So, overall, it's just a really solid card. I've noticed most of the attributes on this card, like, they're not amazing standout stats, but they're actually just really good overall. Now, the push me. Probably goes hand in hand with that finishing really, really nicely. And just all three of these just make him a very, very deadly striker. Now, weirdly enough, this is one of his better attributes I found for him. So he's only 5 foot 11, but he's got the really good head and axi and jumping, which allows him to be a very deadly card in the air and even become a target man at some point. And I just found that was really good on him, just to have a little bit more of really a diversity about the card. Now, next up for me is his stamina. Now, the stamina for me. It's a striker, if you have the right insurance on him, they'll last all game, even with 80 stamina, and he has more than that by plenty, so overall, the stamina is perfectly good enough. So, on my overall scores for the card then. Now, first, me kick it off is the pace. Now, overall for the pace, I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it eight and a half out of 10. I can't give him higher than that, because he's not really lightning fast, but overall, he still will be able to get past a few of them defenders. Now, next up for me is he's shooting. Now, overall for this, I'm going to give it a 9.5 out of 10. There's not really many holes I can pick with this. Maybe a 5 star weak foot, maybe a bit more shot power and stuff like that, but overall is exceptionally good. Now, the passing for me, I am actually going to give it 8.5 out of 10. The ones that mattered, like the short pass division, the two main ones for a striker, like you need them as detrimental attributes. And overall, he does have the both of them in abundance, so overall, I can't really knock it down any more than that. Now, the Julian Tremere overall, I'm going to give it 8 out of 10. It's solid. It's not amazing. It's not bad. I can't really give too much insight. It's, it's okay. Now, the physicals for me, so the jumping's really good. The head axis is really good, and so is the stamina. And they, in my opinion, are the main three ones, unless they have really high balance and strength. But overall, it doesn't. So, overall for this, I'm going to give it an 8 and a half out of 10. The stamina is what makes it just amazing, and also that um, jumping is just, just a nice attribute about the card. Now... On my overall score from then, I'm going to give him a 8.7 out of 10. I don't really think he's on the level of, like, a Theo Walcott card. I know it's a bit controversial, but I just feel that pace and that electricity on that Theo Walcott just excels him above a lot of cards on this game. But overall, I still feel like he's a very good actually, and especially as he's really, really cheap for an icon. So if you're looking for a cheap striker icon for, like, 300 k highly recommend you pick up this Raul card. He's one of the best, if not the best, for that price. So overall value for coins, I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. But as well for my viewers, always I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do subscribe, it generally does mean a lot. But I've got nothing more to say, so I'll see you in the next video and peace out guys.